Okay, you guys. So, part two for people on YouTube. So, um, I was just telling everybody on Facebook that um, challenges have been part of what I've been up to shifting. And, um, and it's interesting because I was, wasn't recording this. I had it on Facebook Live and I don't have a way to put it onto YouTube unless I record it on my computer. So, so I'm going to do this again. And whoever wants to listen again, it'll probably come out differently. You know, I used to get lots of treatment. I still get lots of treatment. Lots of treatment. I spend lots of money and time on treatment. I, I um, spent years doing a lot of um, the medical intuitive training treatment on myself all week long after work and then um, on weekends. And then I would take classes every month and, and get treatment. And what I was looking for was how to get healthy. I had um, some issues with my running and I couldn't run and then I got that back. And then I had issues with my teeth and I got my teeth well. And I had issues um, with anxiety and depression and rage and I cleared that. And so every time I took classes and got work done on myself and every time I, um, I um, went and paid for treatments with these therapists that I was training with, um, I got, I got feeling better. Things got better in my health. And I think what I was looking for was how to be happy, how to really be happy. And what I found is that the steps, like all the work, all the steps, all the training, all the things that I did to, um, to get healthier and healthier and healthier and to clear anxiety and depression and rage and get my teeth well, all the things that I was doing that lots and lots of work and steps and here's how you do this and here's how you do that and you got to work on this and work on this and work on this. It's come to a point now that I have um, it's streamlined for myself and for my clients a way to, um, to do this. One part is to shift the deep inner beliefs and it's much easier and, um, and different than I was led to believe. There's a way to go right to the core of it and then um, shift it. Every day, shift, shift these beliefs and get even clearer and clearer and clearer and happier. And, um, and then there's, there's um, matrix energetics, which is a way to go really quickly to grace, really quickly to spirit, God, and access that. A way to access that and realize that we really do have access to that infinite grace. And we can call it up anytime we want. And so the... the um, the process to clear the deep inner beliefs and the process, the thing to, um, to go straight to spirit are two really quick, powerful ways to get things done for yourself, to get, to get the, the shifts done, whether it's your health or your, um, your relationships, your love, your money, your business. Um, there's really cool ways to do that quickly with spirit and really quickly and um, as a process by going deep inside. And then there's a third part, of course, right? The third part is actually to know what to do. So if you're working on a business thing, there's a way to do this. There's people that have done this. If you want to do a healing practice, I can show you what to do. There's things to do with, um, with getting business in order. The X, what to do, the X, to, the X you would need to do to get the Y. And, um, and that's what I found. Now, along the way, I've had to do a lot of work, a lot of process, a lot of um, steps. And it's kind of like a dancer. I was telling the Facebook crowd before this, it's kind of like a dancer <clears throat> that um, takes lots and lots and lots and lots of lessons. And at some point can get rid of the lessons, can get rid of the steps um, and just play and play and play and play and dance in pure spirit and pure joy. Now, there's some people, of course, that don't need the lessons and the steps. You know, Michael Jackson is a prime example. But most people that want to dance would really benefit by taking classes and training and, and um, getting coaching and you know singing the same way. There's some that are just natural singers, but I think everybody could benefit from having a coach. And um, yet at some point it becomes spirit. Oh, and so what I'd like to do is hear what you guys are um, experiencing, what you would like to create You know, there's going to become a time when we're gone, right? 
And one of my clients um, emailed me this morning and that's happening in um, her family right now. And so I'm putting a, a, a thought, a prayer with our group out to her and her family. Because when it's all said and done, and we've done our own work and done our own thing in this world, there's something else there, right? And for this woman and her family, this session is for her. All right, everybody, have a really good day, okay? And I will see you all tomorrow.